Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Christian. In last week's video, I mentioned that I finally checked off a reading goal from my bucket list. It was to finish an entire book in a single day, but I did not mention which book I read. The book is The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. It's my favorite book. It's been that way for about a decade now. It's the book I've gifted the most. It's an easy read. It's relatively short. It's incredibly inspiring. And I love it because every page is packed with wisdom. Just to give you a sense, here is some of the blurb from the back cover combining magic mysticism wisdom and wonder the alchemist tells the mystical story of santiago an andalusian shepherd boy who yearns to travel in search of a worldly treasure his quest will lead him to riches far different and far more satisfying than he ever imagined santiago's journey teaches us about the essential wisdom of listening to our hearts of recognizing opportunity and learning to read the omens strewn along life's path and most importantly to follow our dreams one of the biggest reasons i love the alchemist is because whenever i read it i get to learn about Myself. Every time I read it, without fail, there's this thing that happens. Some might call it coincidence. I like to call it serendipity, where Santiago is going through something. For example, there's a challenge he must face or a decision he needs to make. And it just so happens to be very similar to whatever I'm going through in my own life. In other words, I get to learn from his experience, I get to partake in his epiphanies, and if I'm smart enough, I get to apply that wisdom to make progress in my own journey. The nugget of wisdom I picked up from this last read has to do with overcoming self-doubt, pushing past disappointments, and paying attention to that voice in our head that says maybe we're meant for more. Fair warning, if you haven't read the book, this next part is a tiny spoiler. It's nothing major, but if you hate spoilers, feel free to pause, read the book real quick, and come back and finish the video. I'm kidding, of course, but if you don't want any part of the story spoiled, no worries, I get it, I'm the same way. You can just pause the video and fast forward to the timestamp on the screen. But before that, if you wouldn't mind, I'd really appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribed to my channel. It really helps the algorithm and it's a good reminder for me that even though I'm just starting out or restarting rather, I can still make an impact. Thank you. Let's get back to the matter at hand. If you do have a copy of the book and you'd like to follow along, please turn to page 66. I'll be reading the last paragraph. The hills of Andalusia were only two hours away, but there was an entire desert between him, Santiago, and the pyramids. Yet the boy felt that there was another way to regard his situation. He was actually two hours closer to his treasure. The fact that the two hours had stretched into an entire year didn't matter. Before I explain why this paragraph was so mind-blowing to me, we first need some context. Santiago is following his dreams to go to the pyramids, and at this point, he's already left his hometown of Andalusia. He sold all of his sheep, he took a two-hour boat ride to Africa, and then he experiences a major setback. So major, in fact, that he's left with no money, he's stuck in Africa, he's depressed, and he's completely given up on his dreams. All he wants to do is make enough money to buy a ticket back home, buy his sheep back, and become a shepherd again. So that's what he tries to do. He works at this one shop for an entire year, he makes enough money both for his sheep and his ticket home, and now that he can go back home, he realizes that his dreams never really went away. He was just ignoring them, because after the setback, he began to doubt himself, he fixated on how disappointing everything was, and he convinced himself that his dreams were dumb. But after a year of hard work and of hitting that fundraising goal, he gets some of his confidence back. So now Santiago is faced with the decision to keep ignoring his dreams and go back to being a shepherd. After all, he's only two hours away from home, and there is an entire desert between him and the pyramids. Or he could start listening to his dreams again and start his journey where he left off. With all that context in mind, I'll explain how the quoted paragraph relates to my life and how it maybe even relates to yours. The magic of this book is that it evolves with you. I never gave this paragraph much thought in previous readings, but this last time, it's the only part I've thought about. And that's because I've gotten to live more life. I'm further along now in my journey, and I'm actually at the part where I started giving up on my dreams. If we've been friends for a long time and definitely if we're family you know that i've had dreams to be a singer songwriter be a content creator make my own money online travel the world to vlog and most recently to start a life coaching business and i thought i would have quote unquote made it by now i just turned 30 last september and because society tends to make a big deal out of that i did too i was using that milestone of age to motivate me to get this business up and running and so i thought the best and coolest present i could give myself on my 30th birthday was a gift of quitting job because ideally I would have had enough clients back. Well, it didn't work out that way and I was pretty disappointed. 
disappointed that I couldn't figure it out, that I didn't put in the work, and I failed yet again, and actually I was pretty down about it. So much so that I started considering other options, like moving back home, going back to school for a master, or getting a promotion at work. But I knew deep down inside that none of these options would really make me happy. I knew that when I looked myself in the mirror, I didn't really give it my best shot. Thankfully, over the last several months, I have started believing in myself again. I have started to dream again. And that's why this one small paragraph from The Alchemist was so impactful to me. Because like Santiago, rather than getting discouraged at the vast distance between me and my dreams, I choose to regard my situation differently. Just like the quote says, I am two hours closer to my treasure. The fact that the two hours had stretched into an entire year doesn't matter. In other words, it doesn't matter that I've had these dreams for over a decade now, that I've tried and failed over the years, and that I've started projects and stopped them. All of these attempts are actually bringing me closer to my dream life. Every so-called failure is a lesson. I get to learn about myself. I get to learn what I like and what I dislike like, I get to learn what works and what doesn't, and I get to take these lessons into the next business and or creative adventure. As Thomas Edison said, our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time. So what about you? Is there some dream whispering to you to go after it? Are you ignoring those whispers? You know, it's okay that you haven't picked up the guitar in over a year. It's okay that you quit college more than five years ago. It's okay that you haven't worked on your business in ages. You can always pick up where you left off. In fact, you're even more experienced now than when you stopped. Nobody's judging you, and if they are, their opinions don't matter. Your dreams are definitely not judging you. They just want to be expressed. If anyone is judging you, it's probably you. So I invite you to be kind to yourself. I invite you to dream again because these dreams were given to you for a reason. They are the key to unlocking your greatest impact in the world. So please, from all of us living here in the world with you, take a baby step in the direction of your dream life. And if you need some inspiration as you embark on your journey, read The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. There's so much more to it than what I shared. And if you enjoy these videos, please watch last week's where I discuss how to build more freedom into our busy schedules. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.